one man, one desire. He wants to be the best of the cheapest. He wants to be a goal scorer and make the best assists. He wants to be the underrated. Hey team, Paul Vick here and welcome to another episode of the Underrated. Today we are taking a look at Diego Roland. As you can see, I picked him up for 17.5k so not the most uh, expensive and that is right after he got dropped so I think he will be around this card price so very exciting to see how he will perform as you can see he has four star skill three star weak foot that is pretty okay high medium work rate that is perfect in my opinion I put him up as a left forward so I think he's going to stay a little bit more in the middle of the field and um, we'll see some of his skill and some of his shooting when you look at his stats they are not bad at all for just I probably will think 11 to 15 K it is very very good so um, I'm having high uh, expectation for Diego Roland as you can see the team is a pretty okay team, not uh, anything super special here like a normal Liga squad here with uh, yeah, pretty decent, have an inform and Kuro hair that I wanted to try. And that is about it, let's jump into the gameplay and I'll show you the stats. Here we have the stats of Roland and as you can see they are not not bad at all, they actually look pretty damn good. Decent 84 reactions 89 positioning in attack is very very good 87 finishing 84 dribbling there penalties is good shot power is also very good in the greens here Four star skill moves three star skills and flair as traits that is about it for Rolando's in-game stats the first thing I noticed with Roland was that he was Magnificent to dribble with it was so easy to do skills. He was very very close to the ball all the time and that made it so easy to just get behind or get past anyone you wanted to go past really and that was wonderful as you can see here he pops one from a long way out and puts it right in the top corner what a strike that was his long shot was very very good but he also had some problems with the shooting. He didn't always get the ball in the back of the net and that was very frustrating sometimes because it often took four to five chances before he actually scored a goal. So that is maybe the only weakest thing so far. But even though it got a little frustrating to not score with him on some chances, he did turn up when I most needed him. And you always would love to have a player that can turn up when you most need it and score important goals like this one. 2-1 and we win the first game. Very, very good goal there by Roland. A an amazing strike actually. And that was one of the fun things to do with him. Long shots. He was amazing at them. And after the match, of course, he got man of the match and a 9.5 rating. Just amazing how he played. Really, really enjoyed it in the first game there. But after the first game, of course, I got a little carried away. Wanted to try long shots all the time, but it didn't always go as well as I wanted. Of course, the goalkeeper did make some good, good saves there. Of course, cannot take that away from the goalkeeper. But sometimes the shooting, it wasn't good. Good enough here he gets his first assist it's super laggy so I'm very glad that I was able to score there the last chance here he did get a goal very nice play by the whole team and he takes it by the outside of the foot he did pick up man of the match as well and that was very very good after a defeat 3-2 there so so far very very good by Rolando even though we are losing he is the man of the match. In this last match, we did come up against a full bronze squad, so I want to try as much fun stuff as possible. And Roland, his one hell of a guy to have a lot of fun with. He could shoot from long range as the first chance there, and he pops one from a long range out. He also could dribble, and he really showed that in this game. Dribble pass one, two, three, four, no problem at all. But he also didn't score a sitter 
Look at this one, should have been a goal here. So much space and time, but still he misses. And another one where he can't put the goal, the ball in the back of the net. Very, very annoying there that he didn't put the ball in the goal there. Suddenly, the guy I played against, he did rage quit. Don't know why, he just left the game. And Ronaldo was mad of the match again. After the three matches, we are done here. Roland was very, very good in my opinion. He scored four goals, had one assist, and did his job very, very effective. As I said, he became man of the match in every single game, so that has to say something. So for around 11 to 15k, he is all worth the money, 100%. So value for money, I have to pick 9.5, nothing uh, like... If you can get him for 11k, then he will be 10. For my personal rating overall, he will become a 9 because he lacks just a little pace. That is the only thing, in my opinion, he lacks. In game rating is 8.8, .8 and that is very, very good. It means that he is performing on a high level in every match, even though that last match wasn't his greatest match, even though he scored one fantastic goal so um, yeah very very pleased with Roland he did exactly what I hoped uh, but that will be all for today guys hope you like this uh, player review it was very fun to play with uh, Roland hopefully you will go and check him out I think he's worth the coin so that will be all for today I'm Povic and I'm out as you can see we are making a tot squad and what kind of one a freaking strange one we're putting the players that you probably never knew had gotten the team of the season